Hey Tribe, coming back to you today. This is Jeannie. We just finished our first class and we did the whole worksheet with the anagrams. And you came and you, you know, identified what your anagram number was. And we went through the stands and the security and the stresses and the wings and you answered that for yourself. And if you remember, you went home with homework. You went home to do this process with two people. That was the minimum you needed to do. And I think I challenged you. In fact, I'm going to challenge you again if you didn't hear it. And if you're following this online, I'm challenging you to do the one that you're having conflict with. If you're the person who's taking this online and you're watching this, what you need to do for this video is take the test, have your Enneagram number ready, but also have two other people take the Enneagram test so you know the numbers. And then this is the video you will turn on to kind of go through the process with them. And this video is gonna be in two parts. It might even be in nine parts and here's why. I am going to give you the process that we did in class and that I want you to do with these two people right here on this video. And then I'm gonna stop the video. And then we're gonna be doing either nine days or all the anagrams in one. And that way you can kind of pay attention when it's yours and learn about the one that you're dealing with. Um, I want you to watch them all because they're all important, but I, the ones that obviously that you're really dealing with, this whole class is about, and the anagram aspect is about you getting better relationships. And that's why we're doing this work with three people, you being one of them. Real quick, could you do me a favor? There's a beautiful little button over here called subscribe. If you are not already, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the little bell. It tells you when new videos go up. Okay, back to the video. Thanks again for being part of my community. Okay, so let me just list off. I'm going to show you the beautiful Enneagram. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to label one to nine, the different Enneagram profiles. And this is a lot like, um, my gosh, astrology. You know, I'm an Aries. Uh, he's a Capricorn. Um, Myers-Briggs, right? I'm TMJF, feeling, sensing, judging. This is just another beautiful system out there to help and assist you. I try to stay away from, you know, the labels. Oh, she's a caregiver. I'm an achiever. I, it's not about that. It's really just understanding the energy that's tied to that archetype. Okay. So we're using this as a tool. That's all. Let me keep going. The nine different archetypes are the perfectionist, the helper, the giver, the performer, the romantic, the observer, we call them also the investigators, the loyalist, the enthusiast, the boss, the achievers, and lastly, the peacemakers and the meditators. Okay, so you have your Enneagram number and you're about to assist two other people through this process. So let me teach you how to do that so you're ready, okay? You take their number and the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna find out their triad. And if you remember the triad, it is either a feeling, a thinking, or a doer. And what that means is that this is predominantly how their number shows up. So they're either always thinking, they're always doing, or they're always feeling. And you know these people because here's what they do. They use those words, right? Um, I was thinking yesterday, when you, when you said that, I was, you know, I was thinking this. And then we have the feelers. I really feel hurt that you did that. Um, how I'm feeling right now is. So this is taking that profile anagram number and it's associating it with those three. And these are called the triads. So. Take your number of the two people that you did this work with and you're going to list what they are. Are they a feeler, a thinker, or a doer? If they're a feeling triad, it is two, three, and four. Numbers two, three, and four. If they are thinking, it's a five, six, or seven. And if they're a doer, they're an eight, a nine, and a one. So that means if that number, your person you're doing this for is a one, then guess what? They are a doer. So write down their stand, their, excuse me, their triad there. Let's keep going. The next thing you're gonna do, another slide, is gonna identify their wings. So as I mentioned, you have two numbers for someone that you're doing this through, that wings are the numbers on either side of that. 
So write down the two numbers that are there and then also write the name associated with that number. So if they are um, a six, then they are a loyalist. And I will put the chart up on one of the sides so you can see the name of them. Doing that now, let's keep going. So we have the wings, we have the triads determined. A couple more and we're almost done. The next is how does this number, this anagram, this person act with stress? So look at my beautiful slide and tell me which one is the arrow. You take the number and put, watch, follow the arrow. What is What number is it pointing to away from? That's their stress number. Let's keep going. Security and safety. That's the number that's coming to their number. So look for their number and then look at the little chart and look for the arrow that's coming towards their number. That is their security anagram. And again, it has a name, right? If it's a seven, it's so on. And so you have to list what that name is. And this is just going to help you get the framework so that when I really get into the profiling of each one of these enagrams, you have, you know, the knowledge and you have the numbers and the math in front of you. This should really assist you for that. Okay, one more thing to do. We're almost done. Okay, next thing we're doing is we're looking for the stands on that. And remember the stanza? It's really how we show up, the, the normal behavior when um, something good happens and when something bad happens or something neutral. It's how we show up in the world. And in this work, they're saying that there are three kind of profiles to that. There is either the aggressive, the dependent, the withdrawing. Okay, so let's break that down now. Same homework, right? Take it, that number. If they're aggressive, they're a three, a seven, or an eight. If they're a dependent, it is a one, a two, and a six, these are the numbers. And if they're withdrawing, it's a four, five, and a nine. And here's what's fascinating, I found. The aggressive is all about the future. The dependent is all about now. And the withdraw is all about the past. So let's look at those and write that down. So does this person that you're doing this Enneagram profiling with. Do they always live for the future? Are they aggressive? Um, are they withdrawing and they're always talking about the past? Okay, so write that down. Okay, that's it. You have basically what we did in class you have for these two people. So the next time you'll see me, I'll be starting with the perfectionist. Number one, I'll be giving you all the knowledge I have then I'm learning, just like you, about that anagram profile. And my sense is I'm going to do each one quick clip for each video so that each anagram is explained and you can go back to or use and need. And I'm not um, making you watch another hour video. I bet you're happy. This is Jeannie Lynch. Keep going with the class. Keep stay focused. Stay active on Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the more you share below, the more the community can engage with you. I really do appreciate you being part of this journey. See you later, bone people. La Lopa. Have a great day.